A Big Moon Cake for Little Star by Grace Lynn. A Big Moon Cake for Little Star is a fictional story that explains the phases of the moon. It is a Caldecott honor book and has shown up on numerous lists for interesting multicultural books for science classes. Little Star loves to make moon cakes with her mama. She's not supposed to eat them, but in this book she does, and in her eating she explains the phases of the moon. Beautiful illustrations illustrate the phases of the moon from a different cultural view. Although this story is simple, it lends itself to a non-threatening introduction of the phases of the moon that can then be coupled with a more in-depth scientific explanation of the phenomena. Students can begin interacting with this topic by completing a semantic map. The semantic map will activate background knowledge and allow students to get ready for the compare and contrast activity that's coming later. After doing the semantic map, students can do a concept circle to strengthen their vocabulary knowledge. They can be given a list of words that are the more technical words for phases of the moon and cross out the words that are the more everyday words that we will not be using to describe the phases of the moon. Students can have a lesson on the actual cause of the different phases of the moon. They can then fill out this cause and effect frame to describe what causes each and every phase that the moon goes through. A great extension activity for this book would be to compare it with another book about the moon. In this case, we're going to compare A Big Moon Cake for Little Star with Suzanne Slade's The Phases of the Moon. We're going to start with a Venn diagram. After the Venn diagram is complete, students can write a compare and contrast paragraph comparing the scientific nonfiction book with the fictional story about the phases of the moon. Fictional books like A Big Moon Cake for Little Star pair well with nonfiction like The Phases of the Moon. Having these two books studied together allows students to better understand the symbolic language in the fictional book, have a safe place to discuss these new scientific ideas, and better understand the science behind the fictional stories.